In this video I take you on a city bike ride around Vancouver's waterfront. I would highly recommend this ride for any visitor to Vancouver as it takes you along a very scenic route passing by many of the main tourist highlights. Along the way I take you to my favorite coffee shops, beaches and outdoor restaurants in the city. This ride would make for a fabulous afternoon of sightseeing. So today I'm taking you on my favorite city ride in Vancouver. A ride I usually take to ride from home to the central area of the city and have coffee. The ride I'm taking you on currently is around Vancouver's Coal Harbor waterfront just on the north side of the downtown core and on the edge of Stanley Park which is straight ahead there. So that's Lost Lagoon there on the edge of Stanley Park and it is much quieter here than normal. This is a midweek day during spring break and normally there'd be a lot more families and tourists around so this is now the English Bay portion of the Stanley Park seawall and we're just coming up to Denman Street in the West End here And here's my favorite coffee spot, Delaney's, where I'd normally sit, be sitting right there, having a coffee earlier in the morning. And here are our famous laughing Buddhas. They are hilarious. Okay. okay, settle up. I'm at the end of uh, I'm at the end of Spanish banks here and I'm about to return towards the city
So this is the Jericho Sailing Club. This is one of my favorite spots to stop in in the afternoon for a beer and a, a burger on my return route from Spanish Banks Beach. Great, great deck overlooking the English Bay there. So this is now Kitts Beach. Uh, it's actually Kitsilano Beach, but the locals call it Kitts. Great place in the summer to hang out, play volleyball. Very popular tennis court right there. So this little field to the right here is a great place to fly kites. Uh, it picks up all the wind off the ocean here. Nice consistent wind in the spring. You can see from the flag up there that it's blowing pretty steady today. It'd be a great day for flying a kite. So that is Vanier Park where you can fly a kite. So now we're on False Creek and that's Granville Island over there. Granville Island has a great group of restaurants and outdoor markets and you got to go check out the Granville Island public market. Great place for picking up seafood and all sorts of fresh produce. So now we're just coming into the Olympic Village. This is the, one of the legacy sites of Vancouver hosting the 2010 Olympics. So all these were the residences of the athletes. They're now condos. And now the community is a great area for craft breweries and pubs and places to hang out. A couple right in here. Outdoor patios in summer. Tremendous views of False Creek. And then right there, Science World. That's actually a legacy from Vancouver's 1986 Expo and it's a very cool place with all sorts of games and toys and science models in there. Great place for kids and families. Right over there is BC Place, the big stadium, and Rogers Arena. It's where the football team plays and the hockey team plays. We're now on the Adnac bike route at Venable Street. And from here, there's a half dozen or more craft breweries. There's the off the rail right there. Looks like it's open today. And we've got the bomber up here in yellow. And a few blocks north on Powell, there's a couple more. And I think there's at least a couple more hidden inside these side streets. This is a great place to wind up the ride and have a pint and maybe a snack to refuel a bit. But today, we're heading home to have a beer on my porch instead. So, another time. One last clip of the North Shore Mountains. There's the lions over there. Grouse and Mount Fromm. And Seymour over there. 
that's all for now folks thanks for watching see you next time